When it first opened, the Petricor Inn had another name. Rock and roll might be my only true companion. Shall we, my benefactors? Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. Exactly. Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? Yes, and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the Artisanship Commission. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. be it tracks or scent, as long as he uncovers a trace, he'll follow it all the way to the end. Oh 
we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding, D-Ting will find her. But before we get started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. Tell D-Ting to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do! to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? She's not in a hurry, that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large? Spring From inside season. the pilot house came the general's battle cry. The traces, where did they go? Is D Ting malfunctioning? <coughs> Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port, so it's not easy to follow the scent. It's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around? Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Ting Yoon. That's not cheating, right? We're just collecting intel. <laughs> Bad time. Our shop is closing earlier than usual today. A Foxian girl? Well, our bracelets and pendants are extremely popular among Foxian customers. And I'm sure this pretty young lady won't want to miss out on our verdant Luna selection. Please, try anything you like. Hey, remember what we're here for? <laughs> We were just wondering if you could help us find somebody. <sighs> I knew it. Nobody has time for jewelry in these trying times. Uh, a Foxian girl, you say? Uh, let me think. Uh, I did just see Miss Ting Yun walk by. She's a big patron of ours. May I ask why you're looking for her? Surely she... Uh, I should have guessed from your attire. You look like you're from another world. Miss Ting Yun sometimes takes intergalactic business delegates on tours around Starskip Haven. In fact, I just saw her walk by. She was heading down the street. Did I just get scammed? Come on in!
Storytelling is such an outdated art form. Ah, new patrons, I see. Looking for some refreshment at the tea house? Sadly, there have been fewer and fewer bookings since the lockdown. So we decided just now to close the Sleepless Earl until further notice. We'll reopen once the Cloud Knights finish addressing their security concerns. Any chance you've seen this lady? Ah, so it's Miss Ting Yun you're looking for. She ordered a cup of Immortal's Delight and went on her way. I saw her checking out the food stalls over there. That might be a good place to start. Oh, here we are sweating over our training while she's busy sampling dim sum. must have left us these clues, right? Deeding should be able to pick up her traces now. Tough pure wrap, song lotus cake, guaranteed delicious. Quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? If you pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape.
Guaranteed delicious. Who'd have thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet? Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. The La Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. <sighs> Of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. You don't seem to worry too much about the Sienjo, Miss Ting Yoon. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, the Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. We can handle this situation. Just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. I'd love to help, but there's very little I can do except cheer you on from the sidelines. Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm only a civil servant. I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. We Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals, but I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. You'd do the same in my shoes, wouldn't you? Besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. I was never much of a fighter, and I'm not one for risking my life either. Getting Ting into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yukong. Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Tingyung. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Before Deeting can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leads. If Kafka is hiding in Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned.
shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. It must have been Kafka. She's got a scary sword. Good quality, good price. Hassle-free chartering. High-end barge. The best choice for galactic commerce. Will of Preservation! <laughs> Time for the main event. Burn it up! Time for a shot. I'm on guard! Reach the end of the story in your own way. What's this? It looks like clay. Mr. Yang, any idea? I think it might be shipbuilding material left over from the assembly line, though I can't tell exactly what the substance is. I don't think it's connected to Kafka. Time for the main event. Keep up! Naughty child. <laughs> Lance at the ready. Annihilate. We need a strategy. Something. at the ready. I need to be brave. Eliminating front. <laughs> this song's for you. Turn it up. Where are you going, benefactors? Our priority now is to find anything that could lead us to Kafka. <laughs> Adit, what's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka? Oh, 
I know. Let's go and have a look. Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? Uh, it's lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues, but did Kafka leave them behind on accident or on purpose? Oh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag, and I think we're the punchline. Oh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering, come and get me. Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. A good crowd today. Keep up. <laughs> That'll take more than men. Nap time. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Is that all? Huh. Oh, 
another chest, another handprint. Has this woman got nothing better to do? A little cheese for the rats in the maze? Rats? Oh, she's playing games with us. I hate her. Where did it go? Ah, uh, when the trace of the hunted disappears, the hunter better think twice. It might mean the tables have turned. Kafka! These Cloud Knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> oh, what a hassle. This place is too far for the Diviner. See you up ahead.
Is that all? Reservation. Looks good. <laughs> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. Ugh, there's no way through here! We need to think of a way to cut her off! Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts!
The more the better. We need a strategy. Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. <laughs> Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> Best for me, naturally. We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fu. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs>
Okay, not so fast. Not a scratch. Feeling a little dizzy? <laughs> Time for a shot. Protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sparrow. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Powers. <laughs> Savor the vigor. <laughs> Lance up the ready. Zoning out. I can help. Ready. I I'm not afraid of you. Eliminating threat. <laughs> Something for everybody. Stay back, Claire. <laughs> Oops. Stay back. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Turn up the volume! <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. I'm on guard. Rapture! <laughs> To protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sparrow. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Powers. Eliminating threat. Not bad. Keep up. My tempo. You're in bad shape. Lance up the ready. Zoning out. I can help. Uh, that hurt. Ready? Uh, uh, See you later. Not a scratch. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. <laughs> Something for everybody. Watch your feet. Okay. <sighs> Ready to jam. I need to be brave. Just in time. Just a little something. 
think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Eliminating threat. Not so fast. <sighs> Feeling a little dizzy? Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Though given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. I am Fu Xuan, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the Six Charioteers. Far-flung friends ought to be received with fine wine, but alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with the matter at hand. What the actual heck is she saying? My speech is offensive to you, you need but say. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. An essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Understood. However, the General promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the... We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? While I am here, she will not escape. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. Let's disembark here, benefactors. Uh, <sighs> I may live in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? <sighs> no need to yell, Master Diviner. 
the Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Look, Exalting Sanctum, this is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. <laughs> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the Martian water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. That's been out of fashion for hundreds of Amber Eras. I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Starskiff cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron Crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's internal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. <laughs> I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. <sighs> you think too little of me. My word is my bond. I will stick to my promise even if this self collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. To have this prisoner speak, the Commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive. Even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. Uh, okay. We trust you. <laughs> uh, I think I offended someone again. Are you on her side? I just wanted to remind her not to break her promise, that's all. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought she was pretty icy. Like how you're always pretending to be quiet? Okay, enough chit-chat. I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah! Ah, oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum.
The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Oh, is that a Xianzhou motto or something? First the Skyfaring Commission, now the Divination Commission. They're all so secretive. Oh, the General's the only friendly face here. I hate to admit it, but I'm even starting to miss Sampo. Oh, hold up, I must be losing my mind. <laughs> nope, I'll take the Xianzhou over that blue-haired boar any day. <laughs> We've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in the Sienjo. <sighs> Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. Hmm. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. I've got poetry on standby 24-7. Are you wondering if the Sienjo is my homeworld? No, I'm not getting any flashbacks. <laughs> Please, do I look Sienjo ish to you? You must be thinking of Don Hung. <sighs> Good idea. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Clear my head of what? When we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. The leader of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one knows who he is or what he looks like, only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's Slave. It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. In fact, it may even be superior. If the rumors are true, every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. Which would include what they did to you. For the sake of this discussion? Yes, I think so. But who is it? All of us are future variables, our choices solidifying reality. The future is nothing incredible either, just a fog waiting for us to make a decision. Back to the matter at hand, Kafka.
Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. But is she really as calm as she seems? The future holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron crisis. Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her a window of escape. <sighs> Why did the Stellaron hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action? That's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? That's the best I can do. What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. He only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? goes on like this, the judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. What's oh, going on with what it? This song's just for you. Keep up! My tempo! You're in bad shape. Indestructible. I... I'm not afraid of you. Hide. Naughty children, don't favor the vigor of I'm on guard. Yeah. I need to be brave. Commencing annihilation. Now, 
I'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? However, these Cloud Knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones... Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate! Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. <sighs> I get it. You think because I'm small, it must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Chou, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Things haven't been very peaceful in the Lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> ...go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand. So, I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. Find beds for the patients from the other delves and stabilize them. Remember to minimize contact. We don't want your people to succumb to the same evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Realm Keeping Commission is out in full strength. What about the Alchemy Commission? Why are there so few of you here? Do you mean... out in full force? Hey, Missy, does this look like a classroom to you? Concentrate on treating the patients.
Fran May. A name that's both new and familiar. I thought member four, Poka Kakamond, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. You're back. <laughs> of course, this is a summit between three geniuses. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. I took her to see the portraits of the Society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. I heard Miss Ron May likes snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Of course! Go find her yourself! She borrowed the face flame to do some research as soon as she got here. I haven't seen a trace of her since. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life spiral system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Pity. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? See if you can find her. I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the Master Control Zone and the Railway Platform. Maybe you can start your search there.
in by Everything. If you're ready, let's head to the Washtopia. someone next to the railway platform. Could she be... I have a feeling we're on the right track. I'm gonna check the data when I get back. <laughs> I didn't startle you. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain, 
helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. Oh, really? I expect the views here had me lost in thought. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Come here. Look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. I hope you like it too. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Hmm, an outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt-preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way, do you remember what my research is about? No, my research area is short stories about toilets. Huh? What's going on? What am I talking about? <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, You'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. <sighs> Why can't I say what I want to say? <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right, I'll give you the recipe. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. The process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult, but it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. A 
few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and... I despise matters that escape my control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Does that bother you? I believe we will be able to be frank with each other, but that needs time. <sighs> when I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. I do trust you. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, Simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Another soon to be departed. Fleeting light, roaring flood! Lance of 
blaze. Flaming lance. Forward. Getting late. Where to now?
we depart. I'm okay. The Stellaron changes everything. Hide. The only redemption. Power translates into hope. I have It's getting late. Where to now? Only Hertarium are accepted for payment.
What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything at all. You're the sneaky one. What do you want? <laughs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. I'll solve the space station's problems. So, I really can't say anything about her. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now, out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Lance of the ready. Reach the end of the story in your own way. There's so many people. This seems to be the place. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ram May's life cultivation formula. It says, 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Tintu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick out the ingredients. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in, yeah, but don't go overboard. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Yikes, 
take a look at what you just cultivated. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. <sighs> Some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Mm, no idea. I just listen to comedy skits. So, I really can't say anything about her. As expected. You look like you belong at a comedy skit yourself. Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. Yes, she's treating this place like her backyard. She's leaving her research notes all over the floor. The end result? Everyone's obsessed with getting their hands on them. Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. Two, energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Oh, praise be. You don't know? Molten cheese tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scrooge's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. Hm. Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May has been. If you're sincere enough, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart will show itself. So this is the little life form Run May made? Uh, 
I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Wakaka, I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. That was way too risky. Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ranme has finally recognized my ingenuity. <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, does Madame Ranme recognize me as a masterpiece? Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ranme still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madame Ranme. Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of gray bean paste, would we? Good! You have great taste! You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. <sighs> mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. That, that depends if the Honorable Tart agrees to it. <coughs> oh? The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has agreed. Ready. 
Eliminating threat. You're here. Herta called Skrulam and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you, don't pry too much, and keep your expressions in check. Alright, let's go. Good to see you, madam. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. You wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. 
Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have the chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask her to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Of course! You brought her in after all. It's up to you. All right, let me walk you out. And what the heck is this? Seems like a programming error. Oh, this fragment of Ron May. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? It's probably an isolated glitch. Hmm, <sighs> fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you gonna keep it, Ron May? <laughs> I probably will. Records indicate she likes this occurrence. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. Yeah. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Huh. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the Master Control Zone. Thank you. Well done. I was simply being overly cautious. It is a habit of mine. Apologies. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. There's much you don't know about the space station, and even more about Herta. But there is some information I can give you. That place is also used to welcome non-humanoid visitors, and has a shuttle that connects to outer space. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand, and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Stay vigilant, Assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember. There is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything.
getting late. Where to now? Yes! Yeah. 